I swear to God, if that producer hit a jump scare underneath one of these dirt piles, I am going to be pissed. I would rather find nothing at all, to be perfectly honest. I think I also saw... Are you? Yeah, you're something I can take. I don't really want to touch you, though. You look like the kind of thing that would bring me great fertility, and I'm not looking for any little redneck babies. <laughs> me and my cousin are just fine, thank you very much. Ooh. Do we have... in here... Uh, ooh, okay! Stop it! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Barn Finders, the only game where you could steal from ghosts, witches, aliens, cult leaders, and angry hobos alike, all to sell their stuff in your pawn shop. I'm not gonna say it's a good living, but it is an entertaining one. Uncle Billy, it's become a bit of a tradition to start off every episode with some slack-jawed words of wisdom from everyone's favorite rocking chair jockey. I don't suppose well, you have I anything can. for us. I Collect also... some trash, we get cash for that there. What a time oh. to be alive. Of all the supernatural things that we're allowed to rob, the one thing that's off the list are fart ninjas, because they are his people. It's looking like that's gonna be all the words of wisdom we get to start things off today, folks, because I have no sweet clue where the hell he went. He's not in any of his typical swaying spots. I think the takeaway is first you get the garbage, then you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the women. Which is a real shame because most of the women in this game look like a used pair of boots. You make do with what you've got. What we have is a new job from Enos Beaver. Man, oh man, you are lucky your mom bought the right value. You were this close to being anus. Holy mo! There is an awful strong rumor that there is an armor prop from the classic movie The Dark Headless Horseman Attacks. Still can be found at Miko Awful Old Movie Studios at White Sands. If you find a can pay your darn good money for it, even if I have to sell some of my wife Claude Hoppers. Did you guys catch any of that? Just the all cap sup from the topic had me confused. <laughs> I think what he's trying to say is $700 armor movie prop from an abandoned movie studio? That's pretty different. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this job. Do I need to pay to get in here? Hopefully not. I think this is going to be a straightforward robbery. No auctioning this time. Hey, Uncle Billy, if you're my dad's brother and we're related, then doesn't that make me a fart ninja too? When are you going to train me so that I can disappear from all my responsibilities? Of course, this place would also be creepy. Like, I had my hopes up because this is the first commercial location we visited. We might find some really good stuff here because every other place has been residential. You know, a shack in the woods, a house on a cul-de-sac, a couple houses on a lake. This is, uh, that's a graveyard. We're in a graveyard. Dear Miko Studios crew, today is the last day of shooting, so try to give your best. We fight for the Quan's Festival, people, and remember, we finish when I say it is finished. Your director and producer, Romic. P.S. I sent the checks after the cinema release. We don't have a budget for rap parties. Sorry. That is a quality dick right there. Uncle Billy, I'm assuming this is a set, right? Like, there aren't actual corpses underneath our feet, are there? <laughs> Because you, if there are, I brought a shovel. Probably got pretty nice clothes and jewelry down there. <laughs> what? I never said I was a good person. Some of you guys probably think I'm joking, but if your grandma had gold fillings, you better believe I'm going to pay her a visit. Never finding anything underneath these random dirt piles. They have to exist for a reason. Will you please stop talking to me? I think you're a ghost. <gasps> what do you think would be in the shed? Other than a... Megaphone. Oh, it's not even locked. Just assume that it would be locked. Okay, uh, what do we have been here? Oh, the girl with the beaver tattoo. Is that a tattoo of a beaver? Or is her beaver tattooed? Now I want to see the movie. To be fair, anyone buried with something nice would be on that side of the gate. I really doubt someone who could afford an expensive watch would be buried in a parking spot. <laughs> but you never know. I mean, maybe they splurged on what they were buried with and then... Nope. Nothing again. 
Is this shovel cursed or something like that? I, I keep coming up with nothing. It's the weirdest thing. <gasps> I don't really want to go back there. Oh my god, there actually are digging spots back there. Uh, It's blocked. Blocked by what? What do you mean blocked? Does, I can see through it. There's nothing. Is the fern in the way? Come on. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll go through the haunted building first. I mean, it is going to be haunted, right? There's no way I'm not going to get spookumed in here. Hello? Oh. Okay. Didn't really expect to find a alien doing the chicken dance. <gasps> I mean, the aliens are cool. They're not spooky, if anything. If you spot anything that you like, then take it back to the store. You can buy it. T tell Bobby. What is that? That was definitely not an alien. Uh, concerning. The aliens just kind of disappear. It's really hard to sneak up on them, but they're, they're probably just getting ready for whatever sale I'm going to have going on. Did they leave behind a DVD? Oh. They left behind one of their weird moonshine DVDs. That's probably what I'm seeing up there. Their bottle of moonshine. Okay, well, we can sell whatever crap we find. Still a little concerned with what that noise was. Come to think of it, that noise came from where Uncle Billy is. You doing okay? Uh, seeing a bit of ghostly smoke building up around your balls, bud. Y you're sure you're good out here. Did you hear anything? <laughs> Am I just losing my mind? Okay, he, he, he's fine. Let's see if we can go upstairs. Uh, should be able to, yeah, there we go. We've got the key. A thing? Oh, holy crap! Was... I I think that might have been like a cardboard cutout. I, I panicked and axed it and I turned it into little tiny pieces of wood. I'm pretty sure I saw that from down there, but I wasn't sure what it was. Okay, cool! What are the odds that Anus was confused? He said that this was a movie studio, but there's a chance that this is reality TV. I'm not being filmed right now, am I? To spook the hillbilly. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Well, I've already managed to piss my pants in terror. We might as well just go full-blown uncontrollable. <laughs> Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, stomach. Moonshine comes, uh... We got zombie aliens. Okay. Is that their leaders? Wait, what? Was... Was I supposed to infer something from that? Because I got nothing. Oh, no. I, I think I screwed up. Like, I, I'm a stubby little axe-wielding redneck who's hallucinating on moonshine. I don't have hops. I, I can't make this jump. <laughs> and there was a whole bunch of crap around that I could have used, but I, I, I axed it all. I turned it all into bits, and now I've got nothing to help me. We just screwed? There, there's so much more here, but I can't get out. Please tell me this door works. Oh, thank God. Okay, we can pick this. <laughs> just gotta figure out the correct order. There we go. Very high technology for an old gate that they probably don't care all that much about being locked. But we're in. That was a bird, right? That wasn't like a screeching child. Ah, uh, we got more ball gas. This place is huge. Look how far I can go down there. What? What is going on? I don't want to explore all this. I just came to steal stuff. Oh, I'm gonna get spookumed for sure. Uh, what is that? Is that? See, oh, I see another cardboard cutout. Mm, okay, yeah, axe at the ready. Go ahead, spook on me. Go ahead, do it. Still got me, son of a bitch. It's just a natural reaction to flinch when something quickly moves and yells. Like It's millions of years of evolution at work. There isn't a whole lot we can do to question the bunny rabbit that was buried at this grave. All right, Tony the bunny, I guess you're coming with me. Some child is going to bring you home, and I'm guessing you're going to turn their family inside out. <laughs> Again, this is supposed to be a set. It's not haunted, right? It's not haunted. This is probably reality TV. I don't need to infer anything else than that. What else have we got? 
Is that an arm? That looks like an arm. Oh, it's a zombie arm. Okay, we gonna build a zombie? Note to self, put the friggin' axe away. I need to make sure the craft services stays intact. I'm gonna need this to get into the window in the church. So we'll just leave any chairs and tables lying around and maybe investigate the green screen. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, people could put literally anything there. Ooh, look at that. Isn't, isn't that just horrifying? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm thinking we probably want whatever you are. Oh, okay. Yeah, lighting. It's like I said, I, I kind of figured that we would find something of value around here. It's a commercial area. There's a whole bunch of expensive stuff. And heads. And, and heads. I swear to God, if that producer hit a jump scare underneath one of these dirt piles, I am going to be pissed. I would rather find nothing at all, to be perfectly honest. I think I also saw... Are you... Yeah, you're something I can take. I don't really want to touch you, though. You look like the kind of thing that would bring me great fertility, and I'm not looking for any little redneck babies. <laughs> me and my cousin are just fine, thank you very much. Ooh. Do we have... In here... Uh, ooh! Okay. Stop it! Was that a zomki? Like, are, are zomkis just cardboard zombies? Because, holy crap, that is a big sarcophagus. That is a big golden sarcophagus. I don't care if that's haunted. I definitely want that. How do we get through the gates of hell? Oh, that's going to be a little bit more complicated than I had hoped for. Uh, Yeah, that that's definitely junk. I don't think I can use this as like a battering ram or anything. No. We might need to find a different way around. Hey, good news. I was desecrating the dead and found another Zomki arm. Now we have a pair. At this rate, we'll have an entire Zomki in no time, if that's something that I want. Not sure it is. Oh, I see you. Guess what? I'm gonna... gonna... come on. Come on. There we go. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Shove your spookums up your butt. I don't think we're going to be getting in through here, but it's interesting to see that they've got some artificial light set up in there. It's not all burning bowls and torches and stuff like that. That's a real fancy light, too. Imagine I'd be able to get a couple of dollars for that. Hey, and we've also got a wall skin. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Oh, that one is either alligator or crocodile or snake or something like that. I really need my entire store to look like a pair of cheap boots. What on earth? Is there an indoor stage as well? Can we get over there? This place is huge! Can't get over it! Hey, another place to dig. We have to dig up something other than a bunny rabbit at some point, right? There's no way that they're just all whiffs. Another zomki arm. Uh... I don't really need three, do I? I was pretty happy with the pair. You guys got any legs? There's no way it's gonna be that easy. Really, I just walk up to the giant golden thing and take it? I refuse to believe. There's gotta be at least a couple of cardboard cutouts around. I've already got an axe, but I, I could always use a bigger one. <laughs> Think I could use this to defend myself in here? I, I, I can't even hold it. Okay, no, never mind. We'll, we'll just use this axe. You can head over to the truck. We'll get a couple of bucks for you. All right, what do, you, what do you got from? Bring it on, bring it on. I'm, I'm ready for you. It's a very nice statue. Mind taking that? Either. Okay. Spooky noises. Hmm. We saw something like that run to one of the cardboard cutouts. So, are you a giant spookum? This might be a giant spookum. I'm gonna rule out the possibility. Uh, hello? Is there a way for me to get into this thing? <laughs> Clearly, it's running to you. Are you a usable object? Puzzle object. Oh! Okay! So, maybe if we, uh, get those arms up a little bit? Do I need to get you to dab so that we can get in there? 
Well, there wasn't anything particularly interesting in either of the two side rooms, except for this light that we saw, which isn't even on, so I might as well just take it with me now. I'm seeing statues all over the place, but I don't know how to get her arms into that position. Looks like they're all the same. So it's one arm pointing up. You need to be pointing up. Like, uh... No, I can't get that up. Come on, lady, help me out. It's one up and one down. It's supposed to be kind of like that, but just, just a, a little bit more pointy. Oh! Okay. Uh, you're, you're looking at your hand, so you want it like that, and then... What do you mean, no? Don't give me a no. Lift your arm up, lady! I'm, I'm, I'm touching your... Jesus Christ! Come on. Okay. What, what is this? What, I'm, I'm not touching your... This is unbearable. <laughs> help me! Please tell me that's some kind of crash test dummy who, who can help me figure out the statue. <laughs> Come on, dudes. The terror. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if that thing's gonna move. You wouldn't move, would you? I take you with me? I definitely get a couple of bucks for you. No. I can't interact with the statue properly. I, d I don't know what I'm missing here. I, uh, climb up this. Here we go. There is, uh, oh, yeah. Chair. A couple bucks for that. Sell his beer. The comic page. I don't know whose child is running around all these places. Uh, I see a DVD box set. I'll be taking that. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of crap lying around. Crap is good. Crap is the bread and butter of this game, but I really want to figure out the gold sarcophagus, and I can't. Just having trouble getting over rails as it is. I also don't know how I would get over there. If I even can get over there, it looks like I can. It's gotta be a way. Can I... Oh! Okay. You don't have a key. Oh, the sarcophagus must have the key. No! Through the angry spamming of buttons, I think I've actually made progress. The head is fine. Right hand is fine. This one just needs to go down. Down. Why you no go down? Why you no go down? Go down. Down. Oh, oh, hold on. I can interact with the upper arm? Are you kidding me? That. There we go. I didn't realize I could interact with the upper arm. <laughs> now, uh, X, if you would, please protect me. Uh, lock pick? Oh. What? Oh, come on. Really? It's a key. It was it was only just a key. It took a shocking amount of work just to get onto lot two. There had better be something good over here, so help me God. <laughs> oh, good. Water. We all know how I react to water. I, I, I'm gonna murder you. I'm gonna murder you with an ax, just so you know, in the dick. Yeah, you had it coming. You couldn't just let me make the jump like a hero, could you? Uh... That's weird. And the music is weird too, but... The ghost... Oh no, I need arms and a head. We're back at this again. Ew. We've got a less fancy sarcophagus. Or whatever you want to call it. Coffin. Figured if it's real fancy, then you just get upgraded to sarcophagus. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They've got to have something good buried somewhere. No. No, that that's that's enough. I'm, I'm tired of this. You're not going to get me anymore, okay? I'm numb to the stupidity. I've already found the head and an arm. They weren't exactly hidden. One of them was among the drinks for the cafe, and then the other one was just hanging out in a box. Oh. Maybe we have an arm under here? Fingers crossed, could really use it so that I can actually get into that thing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we've got everything. Now, we just gotta get you set up the way that they want you to be. There, there. Get the arms on right, do I? Okay, now, <gasps> what are these telling me to do? They just, they're gonna point at one another. Is that right? Can I rotate you two? I doubt it. I'm just going to assume that doing something like this will work. Okay, I think I woke someone up. 
Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, hey, it's the armor. I completely forgot why we were here. <laughs> Can I get in and grab that? There we go. Well, that fancy. All right, Uncle Billy, we're ready to go. You can stop pretending like you can read here. I'll help you. There we go. Now it's a spring. Everything is a spring. Are, are you good? Uh, uh, We's here. Uh, True story. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, movies. Good. That, that's, that's great. Thank you for all the help. At least you boxed everything up. It's a good haul. We are definitely going to be making a couple bucks off of all this. I am ready to go back to the pawn shop. Found it all. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Barn Finders, guys. That was a long expedition, like a lot of area for us to cover. We got a whole bunch of stuff, and a lot of stuff that's gonna need to be cleaned, obviously, <laughs> assembled, repaired, all that kind of stuff. Like, we didn't get time to sell anything today, but I'm definitely gonna have to sell stuff soon. Like, we have to actually start earning money. I can't keep going out on these expeditions. I'm pretty sure the next one is gonna be an auction. So if you guys wanna see me return soon, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and I'll be sure to help fill these two customers' needs. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.